<laughs> hey y'all, thanks for stopping in. Appreciate you taking time out of y'all's business schedule to stop in and see what it is I'm up to. It is Wednesday, May 26th, 2021. Right now in Jacksonville, Florida, it is 90 degrees Fahrenheit. 50% humidity, so it feels like it's a few degrees warmer. Not that you can really tell a few degrees when it's this warm. I have no idea how hot it was in here when I opened the door, but it was like a blast furnace. Uh, so that would be 32 degrees Celsius. Gravity chair sitting there. Uh, uh, Dad got home late last night, or at least he was home when my brother got back from uh, reporting to the state police. So he had to turn around, and call them, and cancel the alert. Don't know what was going on. Don't know. Excuse my hand from that. Don't know where he was or anything to that effect. I'm not going to really ask him. Just make him blow up again. So, uh, I mean, we understand he is a an adult, and he's you know fairly competent to handle himself fairly being the operative word. He does have some cognitive difficulties. He's 80 some years old with a he's had two strokes. So and just like just like I worry when my kids are out on a trip and I don't know what they're doing, I'm going to worry when my parents are out on a trip and I don't know exactly what's going on with them. It's just I guess it's just my nature. I think other people have the same nature. Some don't, but anyway. My brother Bob, my brother Bob just kind of blew it off. He's like, ah, oh, he'll be all right. He does it all the time. What do you mean he does it all the time? Um, anyway. And my, my little brother, Chris, I haven't heard from, heard anything about him today. Uh, no news is generally good news in this case. Uh, probably had to postpone his, his second uh, stent operation or whatever. For whatever reason, I'll find out in a while. I don't really want to call him. You never know what's going on. He could be in with you know, the doctors or getting tests done or whatever. And when you're in the hospital, you really don't need to be pestered, pestered. I'm not sure where my sister-in-law is. If she's at the hospital or you know, had to go to work or whatever. So I'll wait until later this evening and then try to get a get an update so, uh, my nephew did a thing yesterday um, this is the nephew that has the, the Chateau up in Delaware my sister's youngest he recently bought a house excuse me Decorating it in postmodern, I think is what it's called. Looks like a lot of 60s and 70s furniture. Anyway, last night he did a Pollock type painting in his new garage. Uh, 
big big canvas very colorful painted it he actually bought shoes to wear while he was doing it and they got all covered as well I told him you ought to put them on eBay they're a one of a kind but it's the first real art art project he's ever done and art runs in the, runs in the family I mean his mom was a fantastic artist it, it's passed down through my dad my dad is a, is a really good artist it's come all the way down to to a couple of my grandkids several of them are, are really good um, my one nephew's daughter is is a fantastic artist she's I forget 10 or 11 um, maybe 12 it's hard to keep track but anyway uh, Dave did a couple of short videos of finished product he didn't do any while he was making it which I hollered at him for he's got a channel uh, he hasn't put a, he hasn't post on it a lot but it would have been something cool to put on the on the channel so it's like I didn't think about it I said I understand that sometimes you know sometimes it just hits but anyway he's kind of on my muse with it. He, he used regular oil-based enamels, which is they're fairly expensive to play around with. Uh, you know, small small thing of well, I guess it's not really a whole lot different than, than using good acrylics. But um, it just the whole the whole thing kind of sparked a little bit. It was like I was telling him, I get I get these little sparks from my muse every now and then. Like, that'd be fun to do. Let's do that. And then I go out and I buy all these materials and then don't do it. Um, still have that, like, that sort of kind of urge. And I think about it and then that's as far as it goes like i've got a i've got a whole i bought i bought a bunch of canvases at flow medium and to do the to do the poor paintings that were there was a big hit there for a while or the big thing going for a while there i don't know a year ago or whatever um to me it's kind of a waste of paint you have so much flow over the edges and I've done like one or two little ones I wasn't happy with them and they weren't really they were more playing around trying to figure out the, the medium than an actual attempt and it just didn't it didn't spark and I've got a few other things that you know kind of out big time right now um, where was I yeah there's been several other things that have like sparked my interest enough to buy buy materials and mediums or whatever uh, my alcohol pens that was that was kind of kind of rolling I did four or five little pieces and like yeah not really my thing so I don't know the splatter polycky uh, it looks cool it's not really something I think I would do although it's it's possible I kind of like kind of like the splatter effect also there's a channel I watch cars and cameras they do go-karts and mini bikes and stuff like that and they were painting stuff with splatter effect where you just like you paint paint it one color and then you take another color and literally splat it uh, splatter dots off 
and uh, so that's kind of kind of in the same realm and I liked that idea um, but again just didn't get around to actually doing it but what I'm thinking I was looking at, at the one my nephew did last night and I'm liking the background and it's a little reminiscent of the way my daughter does her paintings her, her backgrounds are very very vibrant very busy uh, but more more you can see more brush strokes where his was more of a more of a pour and splatter but then on top of my daughter's background she does a an actual painting whether it's a know, she's done some really really nice ones pelican uh, mermaid a lion right now she's working on a bull um, But yeah, something like that, only not as detailed as, as my daughter was doing. I was looking at that painting that my nephew did, I was thinking a silhouette um, would, would go nice on it, whether, whatever it, whatever it happened to be. I, I was thinking several different things, a bird in flight, like an eagle spread diagonally across the canvas, or down along the along the bottom and up the side to do one of my beachy type scenes just the, the rolling hills and a palm tree or the rolling hills and a and a branched tree um, again it's, it's something that's kind of sort of kind of sparked my muse but uh, and it's still you know it's still running in my head from last night So, I, I, I don't, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not going to run out and buy another fifty dollars worth of medium and then not use it. So, I could probably <clears throat> do what he did using uh, some of the paints that I do have. Most of what I have right now, though, is either spray paint or craft paint. I don't have any decent paints to that would, that would look that would look right. So, uh, <laughs> the conundrum. This is a gorgeous place to shade. It's like a little little leafy cave, or leafy bowie, or whatever they're called. Uh, the branches come right on down around the, around the truck on two sides. I don't know. <laughs> uh, it, it's got me, it's got me thinking though, I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, there's all kinds of stuff. Um, I guess sent a bunch of turkey feathers. And I was thinking about those the other day. Uh, when I was out riding with out riding with my son with my my walking walking stick monopod thing. And like hanging a couple of feathers off of it. And then it went from there to Maybe doing a band with a turkey feather, but this actually needs some repairs. It's not bad. I could let it go. There, there's always that look where you know your your straw or tan hat's all ripped open. That's kind of a cool look too. But I was thinking about going and sewing this up. Something, some bright color. I don't know. It's another one of those little projects that, <laughs> like I, like I don't have enough. I've got probably six projects partially started or, or with the materials sitting around around my desk. Um, get these crazy ideas and then you know get halfway through them and stop. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. 
anyway, I guess that's about it. We're out here. I'm going to sit here and uh, wait for another 10 minutes or so. <coughs> Excuse me. And then go get to Grand Brass. So. Uh, let me know what you think, folks. Give me a thumbs down or a thumbs up. Leave me a comment wherever it is. Y'all leave comments on your internet access twice and choice. If you'd like to share them around your social media, that'd be fandoculous. If your loved ones are nearby, give them a kiss and a hug. If they're not, give them a call. Hit them up on Facebook. Let them know you think about them. Let them know you love them. We ain't promised tomorrow, people. We ain't promised our next breath. But I'll see you all again. I hope you have a fandoculous day. Swatch you, y'all. Bye-bye. Uh.